And we are back now with Today Food and a feast fit for a holiday celebration. Lydia Bastianich is a, a restaurateur and an author. She's got a brand new book out called Lydia's Mastering the Art of Italian Cuisine. And you've got a great recipe for the holidays. Lydia, happy holidays. Nice to see Thank you. Thank you. Same to you, man. Well, let me, you're going to, is this a dish that you would make all year long or is this the kind of dish you save for the cold weather? Is this comfort you know, food? I, I think you can make it all year long, but it is so appropriate for the holidays for now. And it doesn't take much. Look, only Let's a few take a look ingredients. Let's the ingredients here. Only a few ingredients. Got pork, obviously. Pork, some garlic, some pears and onions, and then the condiments. Some reduction of balsamic, which I reduce you. And all you do is put it on the stove and let it reduce, and it becomes nice. You and see, syrupy almost. Nice and syrupy. By the way, while we're on the subject of balsamic vinegar, people go out and they spend a lot of money because well, there's all okay. kinds of range in prices. Absolutely. What do you have to do? So there is the traditional balsamic, which is in a small bottle that has a little bulb. And that you don't cook. That's the pure stuff. And it is expensive. You don't alter it, drizzle it. Whereas the commercial balsamic that you find in all different bottles, you can cook, you can reduce it. So that's what you buy for this exactly, recipe. Exactly, exactly. All so, right, you got a pan with some hot oil in hot it. Hot oil, some nice pork chops. You salted these, are already seasoned, but a little bit more. And we're going to do two techniques. And my book is a lot about techniques. So it is. Here we are searing the pork chops. And you know what a mis mistake everybody makes is that once you put something to sear and you want to give it color, they start turning it right away. Right. Let it be and let it get a nice crust How long on would one that side. Take? Well, it will take on one side more than the other, but in about three minutes, you are nice and seared, and here we are. Then you twist them around. You know, in there, once they're seared, you put a little bit of garlic in there. And you just basically smash the garlic. You don't take time to finally cut it up. No, because I ultimately, I want the flavor, but I don't want to eat the garlic and you get it by smashing. So here we are, you see how nice and caramelized, you flip them over, and at this point, I have the, uh, the, uh, the garlic here, which is kind of was roasted, just, you raise your temperature very high. Mm -hmm. Here we have a little bit of vinegar, right. a little bit of honey, and you know, the honey gives you kind of a little bit of caramelization on the meat. Let's mix it I like with. the other flavors you're putting in here. You're going to go with some onions and some pears some as well. Some onions and some pears. So you can mix that well for me. Okay. Well, I put the onions in, and I put the onions on the side so that they get some of the... This already smells good. Doesn't it? Yeah. But you see, you have the vegetables, you have the fruit, you have everything all together. You ready for this? Absolutely. Okay. How uh, long is that going to simmer? You give it a good boil, and you put it in a preheated oven. 425 degrees for about a half an hour. So that's the second part of the cooking. You've done the yes. braising, you've seared the pork chops, we but then it goes it. in the oven. This is the braise. Then we're going to roast it in the oven. And this is what you're going to turn up like. You know, the, you, you see you want, you mix it periodically while it's in the oven. Let me give you a nice, which piece? This that is one, a, though, I like the, the, you like that the one. Nice crusty and, one. Nice and crusty. Okay, let me reach so, around and get a knife. And by the okay. way, we got people downstairs tasting. How's this going, guys? <laughs> I was teaching Hoda the art Real of eating rich the fat flavors. off the bone. Are, you guys, yeah, she was. And are they liking it down there? Yeah, this yeah. is, look at Carson. Uh, do they communicate got with the you bones. or just... No, they're talking to me. Like this. Uh, yeah, what do you think of the pears, Carson? I think it's great, mm. Matt. Except, I mean, this, Good. this time of the year is delicious. Mm. I don't eat pork enough, but this is going to make us want to eat it a lot mm. more often. Mm. And you know, my favorite. this is one of those things, preparations, that could be every day or festive. It's mm -hmm. perfect. It and looks you, great. I'll put a little balsamic for you, too. So All right, good. guys, I'm going to join you in eating this in a second. <laughs> but let me join you now in thanking Lydia mm. Bastianich. Happy holidays. Thanks. Same great to you, Great to Matt. see you. Thank you. To get these recipes, you can head to today.com slash food. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.